Welcome to this course on Paramahansa Yogananda's teachings on healing. It will be a joy to explore and share together his teachings on physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and material healing. His healing methods and healing techniques. Thank you for joining us. In fact, uh, the great treasure that Paramahansa Yogananda left us as a legacy of his divine power is uh, the hope. The hope that it is possible once we have tried and not succeeded into winning over either a physical disease or a mental disturbing condition or an emotional disturbing condition or when we have tried to get rid of situations of lack of success on the material plan, he came to give hope that it is possible to dissolve at the root these issues. Because in fact, it is a matter, he says, of digging under the surface with two crucial instruments, concentration and meditation. Not only specific methods of concentration and meditation, which in fact make the body of healing of this great master. He gave us specific healing techniques, and it is a joy for me to share now two of them, and then of course we will explore in depth each of them, and we will come to know, learn in detail, and practice during the classes more of these uh, tools. He gave the fundamental basic principle that the stronger the will, the stronger the flow of energy. And he explained that it is possible to send an invisible current of energy either to yourself or to someone in need and start to dissolve at the root the real issues that you have not been able to dissolve with your own intelligence, with the tools that you thought to have, that commonly we as mankind have. And the first one that I would like to help you discover and practice here right now, it is called superconscious healing technique. Because in fact, he says that the roots of our diseases, either physical, mental, or emotional, or of our unsuccess in life, and we talk about material success in this case, they lie, the roots lie in the subconscious mind. And the way how we can reach that is through the superconscious mind, which is the highest aspect of our consciousness where the divine consciousness directly lives and operates. And that divine consciousness is not only omniscient, but omnipotent, has the intelligence to recognize those roots and has the power to dissolve them. And now we are going precisely to see in what that supremely powerful method consists. We said he talked about concentration and meditation, and in fact, first of all, we have to enter in a state of meditation. It will be not from the state on which we operate normally, which is the one of the conscious mind, which has not helped us so far. We have to enter into a state of centeredness through meditation, and he says, once you are in deep meditation, gather all your energy at the spiritual eye. And see that energy transformed into a laser beam of blazing light. And first shine it over your brain, instantly dissolving negative mental thoughts and negative mental habits. Then Send that light throughout your body, specifically to those places of your body where a disease is, perhaps, 
and see that beam of light instantly burning the diseased cells and replacing them with healthy cells. This superconscious healing technique has seen people healing not only from physical ailments, but people healing from deep mental disturbing states or from deep emotional disturbing painful sorrows and griefs by sending it, for instance, to the heart. The beautiful, revelating and full of hope understanding of the fact that this energy, this laser beam, this energy that we have gathered at, your, at our spiritual eye and that we have transformed, as he said, into a laser beam of blazing light, well, the wonderful revelation he gives is that this light has an infinite power of transmission. It can so be sent within our consciousness, not only to those specific areas of our body which are paining physically or emotionally, our heart or our mind if there is a mental issue, but that laser beam, it can be sent to the origin of the issue doesn't matter if we know when it started, but it has an infinite power of projection. So we can, with the power of intention, the power of our will in order to make then that energy, that ray even more powerful, because of the principle that the stronger the will, the stronger the flow of energy, we can mentally be willing to send that laser beam to the origin in time and space along the course of our history when and where that issue started. So when we understand this divine mechanism, we gain hope. We see the extraordinary volley of possibilities in our hands and we can practice this and then we can experience wonders. The same can be done not only for ourselves, but for others. We can help others precisely by sending this beam of energy from our spiritual life to the spiritual life of someone else in need. And in fact, there is a specific method, which is one of the healing at a distance methods that Yogananda gives us. And it is one also of his praying methods, one of the most powerful, that we will also learn during the classes. And in fact, he says, after meditation, again, we go back to the need of meditation. After meditation, feel the energy at your spiritual eye. Feel it strongly until you perceive it as a warm force. And be aware that that energy is coming from your medulla oblongata, which is the door from where the cosmic consciousness energy constantly surrounding us is entering to give us life in the form of life force, but with all the characteristics of God. So with a creative power, which is what is needed in healing. You need to create the dissolution of disease. So visualize that from your medulla, in deep medit after your meditation, the energy is coming at your spiritual eye. Feel it as a warm force, and then send that energy to the spiritual eye of a person you know being in need of healing. And see this energy filling his brain. But once Yogananda explains that in the brain, specifically in the subconscious mind, are grooves of wrong habits, bad habits, wrong thoughts, bad thoughts, which are at the origin of our physical or mental or emotional or spiritual 
illness. These grooves are within our brain cells. And once we send this energy towards the spiritual life of the other person, Yogananda says to see it filling the brain of the other person. That energy, he says, is intelligent, knows where those grooves are lodged. And like acid on a record, has the power to dissolve them. A power which is invited by your will to see that person being well. So fill the brain of the other person through sending from your spiritual eye, the energy coming from your medulla after meditation, send it to the spiritual eye of the other person, feed his brain, and then see this energy flowing through the spine of the person and reaching the areas where a disease might be, or if he has an emotional, strong issue of sorrow, a grief to his heart, and see it operating. And say, O oh, infinite spirit, thou art omnipresent, thou art in all your children, thou art in this person, manifest thy healing presence in him. And then rub your hands strongly, he says at least 20 times, but too strong until you feel that there is a magnetic new force in form of warmth and in form of a presence of new energy. You feel it. And send it towards, send it towards the person. Chanting on three times. Oh. Oh. spiritual eye or his heart or that specific part in need of healing. These methods, we have seen them during the classes or in private sessions, truly transforming lives. We hope they can become friends in your lives and bring new light, new joy and a beautiful new 